G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today's video is about walking from the Opossum Swings to the Ordinap Hut on the Bibbulmun Trek, which is 18.7 kilometers. And the time is 5.45 a.m. and I'm nearly ready to head off. And as you see behind me, it's still dark. my videos before you'll know that I like walking in the dark this time in the morning you get the privilege of seeing the sun coming up and uh, some beautiful sunrises and it's quieter Then all of a sudden you'll start to hear Mother Nature waking up, and that's just how can I play? That's just a um, a gift, just to hear it. The new signs, the wargles, with the square background, they glow also with the, when your headlamp hits them in the dark. Uh, instead of just a little wargle to look out for, you get a whole white square background which glows. I don't know if you can see this, but here's the third fun of walking in the dark. It's made his web from about five and a half, six foot up. So if you're, actually it comes all the way down here. Uh, it's just beautiful. Hopefully you can see him properly, but he's just beautiful. So let's try not to take his whip. Let's carry on. Forty minutes in and we've hit the first hill and I'm climbing about the last five minutes. Not the steepest of hills on the Billman track. Uh, early morning. It wasn't easy. But the views are still beautiful. A bit overcast. No blue sky so I don't know if we're gonna get to see the sun today. Hopefully we will. Uh, the head torch came off. I can actually see the wargles now without the illumination of the head torch. And even once you can see, similar to the light it is now, some of the head of the wargles also between dark and this uh, type of light, you can see where you're going, but the actual head torch or your hand torch, whichever you're using, will light the wargles up. They're still difficult to see in the light in between, like the dark and as it is now. And just able to say, see them clearly up to about 90%, say. So, and there's one about half an hour's walking where it's actually about a meter up on the track to the right. So you'll be walking on the four wheel drive track and if you're not looking with your head up at that point or you're looking the other direction you're going to miss it because there's no wargles in the tree pointing right so half an hour in training enough quick you walk could be 20 minutes could be 40. keep an eye out for that wargle on the right hand side where it is it's just after you'll go come to a point where you come to a t-junction where you carry straight on and there's a the track carries on right as well but you carry straight over there 
and it's just up there uh, I can remember if it's three or four minutes up there on the right hand side so just keep an eye out for that And now we're in and still hear the conveyor belt. But the clouds have started to break up a bit and see the blue sky which is nice. I just took a quick two minute break to take the beanie off and put the cap on. I was beginning to get too warm and I rearranged my walking pole on the front of me on the back on the back of the pack because I haven't needed it yet so when I do I'll just give me an excuse to take the pack off and get it off. It's still a bit chilly, that's why the jacket's still on. All I've been doing is uh, undoing the zip a little bit more each time, but I can feel cold around my ears, making me think twice about taking that beanie off. Two hours in, and it's going nice. It's still cold. As you see, the jacket's still on. And if you're wondering what month this is, the beginning of April in Australia. Oh, I found that one. So it's not always hot, especially in the bush.
three hours in and about halfway. I'm happy with that. Still a really nice walk. Yard along, we made it. At Yard among shelter on the Bibbulmun track, just short of nineteen kilometres. Yeah, the first three quarters of it wasn't too bad. You had a bit of hill and up and down. Uh, gently after the first two but the last quarter the track needs a bit of a chop back uh, a few more woggles plus up because there's not that many and there's a few spots where it's easy to get um, no, go the wrong way put it I won't use the other word but also uh, yeah all in all I did pretty well the time is now 12, 20, so what's that, six and a half hours? Yeah, six and a half hours. And that's stopping, taking photos, making videos along the way. So I'm quite happy with that. Word. Yeah, it's, it's a fairly easy stretch, this bit, from the Possum uh, Brook, or no, Possum Springs to Yordamong. Yeah, like I said, the only thing is the track being overgrown here in the last quarter and could do with a few more wargles, a few more signs to show you which way to go. But all in all, yeah, it was a nice track, enjoyed it. I did better than I thought I was going to do. We were uh, having a bad knee a couple of months ago and still getting over it. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have and you haven't already subscribed, please go down below, click on the like button, click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell and then select all so you can be notified of all future videos. And if you are already a subscriber and done all that, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.